I'm Lisa Wagner, and I'm here today with Bo Cable, the executive director of the Generous Garden Project in Greenville, and delighted that you're here, Bo, to tell us about the Generous Garden Project. Um, when did you start, and what do you do with the, the garden? Well, hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me. We started the Generous Garden two and a half years mm -hmm. ago uh, in Greenville, South Carolina, and we, we started a garden so we can help feed those who are struggling. Mm. And uh, I know that, that food brings people together. Mm -hmm. So it's been amazing to watch the journey of over 4,000 volunteers come through in the last year and a half. And just all the cool things and that people, they want to get involved. People want to help people. And you're now up to, was it four sites? And it's yes. some 80,000 pounds of produce that you've donated to local food banks, food pantries. Um, yes. Those thousands of volunteers. That, that's really impressive. And you're growing all year round now. Right. We are. Mm -hmm. Year-round, we have greenhouses mm -hmm. and the fields, so uh, the greenhouse and the aquaponics, which really enables us to grow year-round. But, you know, the biggest need we found out from the food pantries is from January to April. Okay. They were not getting, they're not getting as Any much food. Or, and forget fresh. Yeah, oh, just food in general, post-holidays. Yeah, right, so we wanted to meet that need, and, mm -hmm. and having the greenhouses and having the aquaponics is allowing us to, to meet some of those needs. And you're, you're doing a lot of partnerships uh, with other organizations, the Gleaning Network, as well as growing seedlings for other projects to for yes. vegetable gardens. And so that, that all sounds as part of your mission to, to teach as well as to grow and give. Yes. So that's, that's, that's really um, great. How do your, when, when do your volunteers come and work with your organization, or is it? It varies. It varies, but every single day we need volunteers. Mm. Um, we get our big crowd of volunteers, our groups, uh, our schools, and things like that, typically on Saturdays. And we go from 8 to 2. Um, oh. But people can come at 8 and come at 10 and come at 11. You know, we're really flexible. Uh, we wanted to set up an organization that's flexible for the volunteers mm -hmm. uh, so they can come when they have their time. And it gives them an opportunity to give back. So we're very flexible. We can use people in the, during the week. Mm. as well and so any any saturday if you do you could drop by and there would be something that would yeah, need to be done absolutely <laughs> I, I as a vegetable gardener I, myself <laughs> i know there's always something to do and it and it's great exercise and fun and you learn how to to grow food yourself um as well um what are some of the crops that you've been growing we do a lot of your southern staples your mm -hmm. okra squash and mm -hmm. For, cucumbers and things like that we we don't do corn or, or potatoes right um and we do a lot of leafy greens from your swiss chard to kale and we also do herbs mm -hmm. as well that that sounds great and it i, I know you got a lot of plans for the future as a, a model organization i wish you the very best with it yes thank you thanks for having me thanks for coming